let's have a look at fraction increase and decrease. So to increase or decrease, first of all I need to find the, the fraction of amount and then I'm either going to add if it's an increase or subtract if it's a decrease. So let's have a look at this. It says increase 6,300 by two thirds of the original amount. So first of all, I need to find out how much the increase will be. Okay, so the increase will be two thirds of the original amount, which is 6,300. So I'm gonna put that into my calculator and that will give me an answer of 4,200. Now I'm gonna get what the new amount is, okay. And so the new amount is, well, originally it was 6,300. I'm increasing that, so I'm adding on another 4,200. And so that's going to give me a total of 10,500. So that is my new amount. If I look at the second example, it's telling us if my power costs $100 per month and I'm aiming to save one eighth of my cost. How much money do I expect to spend on power? So first of all, let's start off with thinking at how much we're going to save each month. So we're going to save one eighth of the power. Okay, there's that word of. So one eighth of 100. So that, if I put that into my calculator, is going to give me 12.5. So that's going to say, mean each month I'm expecting to save $12.50. So if my new amount, so the new power spending, would be originally it was $100, but I'm going to save $12.50, so I'm going to subtract $12.50 from that, and that's going to give me $87.50. So that's how much I expect my new power to be. So it's a decrease, and that's why I'm subtracting. Also, word problem means I need to give a word answer. So I'm going to say I expect to spend $87.50 on power next month. And there's my answer.